All right, I'm Barton George. I'm here from Dell EMC talking about Project Sputnik. Anybody heard of it? Oh, cool. Very cool. Okay, so if you don't know, it's about a community-driven de uh, developer laptop, and I'm going to talk about some of the lessons learned. So it started with an idea that someone gave me about, why don't you guys put Linux on one of your boxes, get the drivers written, you'll be happy. I'll say, that's awesome, but if I go to our client team, they say, those volumes, we do that in Belgium on Tuesday between 2 and 3 in the afternoon. Impractical. So I shelved that as an awesome idea that will never happen. So what happened? Lo and behold, a few months from then, an innovation fund came along. Uh, some of you might know Michael Cote. He is one of the three people on it. So I went to those guys and I said, look, I've got an idea. Why don't we create a developer laptop? The whole idea here is because we want to up our presence with developers. And the key thing is we want to do this all out in the open. We want to get feedback from people to first validate it. It's an even interesting idea. And then second, to help drive it. So they said, OK, you get $40,000. Actually, they said 100. They only gave me 40. I'm still waiting for the 60. And you've got six months. So see if you can make it happen. First thing I did was grab a bunch of folks during their night hours, and we went from there. We went out to Sanity Check It, to Google and Amazon. They didn't laugh us out of the room, so we said, okay, let's go forward. We did a bunch of hacking, came up with a real crappy ISO, but it kind of worked. So when we did that, we then launched it on my blog. And you can see how much traffic I got. It was double digits until we got to the announcement, and then went to four digits, and then five digits. And all we did was say, hey, we've got this idea. If you think it's cool, please let us know. Try the ISO uh, and give us what you'd like to see in a laptop. So here they are, uh, kind of a low bar. All they said was, like, don't make it more expensive than Windows, and don't have Windows pre-installed on your Linux laptop. Um, from there, the next step was, let's keep going, and then Let's see if anybody cares. So let's do a beta program. We thought we'd get maybe 200, 300. We got 6,000 people from around the world. We were able to then say, OK, let's make this a real boy. Several months after that, we got the green light. And we launched it. Sputnik launched. So then this was actually eight months after the initial go ahead. And we came out with one thin laptop to start with one configuration. So because this is community driven, Next thing we did is we got bugged by a lot of people saying, we like the mobile one, we want a big, beefier one. So Jared went and hacked on his hammock, and we put some how-to guides. People thought that was great. The next year said, please make this a real product. Today, we've got four of the precisions, the big and beefy. The mobile one is now on its seventh generation. This came out in, uh, in January. We also have a um, desktop all-in-one. So how did it go? Wall Street Journal uses the dude quote, I love Ars Technica, so Dell's substantial investment pays off. Three of us and a dog. And then uh, DFED here, spoiled on my Dell Sputnik Linux laptop on Mac today, and I feel like I'm computing with crayons. But it's not all unicorns and rainbows. So here's Michael in Denmark. He couldn't find the system because of some glitch. He said, that's Denmark. Ooh, I guess you don't ship those models to Denmark, fuck asses. Not the first time it happens. Then he goes and talks about how bad Dell is. So I just came back after walking around the building a few times to cool down and said, hey, it should be there. I apologize. I'll talk to the team. And he comes roaring back with, sounds really nice, Barton George. Thanks for the quick, uh, <laughs> quick response. So not all trolls mean to troll. What are the lessons? Get a champion, be a champion. You need somebody high up for the air cover, but you got to be down there in the trenches. And I think the first two years, I slept with one eye open. Next one is leverage and execute. This wasn't my idea. This is someone else. But the whole idea is, can you get a team together? Can you work with them to actually deliver on it? And one thing that helps you deliver on it is if you start small, right? Agile. You want to go out with a minimum viable product. You don't overpromise. You err on the side of caution. I originally wanted to go out with a whole line. Uh, people talked me out of it. And as I said, we went with one config and one system. Last one, be human, be transparent. Just like with Michael, you, you, you talk to them nicely. You don't piss them off. And when you're getting feedback, you want to keep building that community and making them part of it. So last but not least, very happy that this guy picked one up. So that's the whole story of Sputnik. You can check us out at dell.com slash Sputnik or slash developers. It'll take you to the same place. 
Uh, there's my blog that I do most of this talking, and I'm Barton808. Thank you.